Good morning. Happy cash stuffing. Should have been Wednesday, but it is Thursday because President's Day was Monday, so check was delayed day. That was a lot. Sorry for the shaking. <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining uh, today. I want to thank you for your support, continued support, your comments, your your likes, and, and your subscribing to my channel i appreciate it wholeheartedly uh this table is shaking for some reason i'm not filming at my desk my little nook desk because i need to figure out how to adjust my work computer which is the most important thing on the desk and me doing cash stuffing so i'm you know i'm in the new place i'm trying to figure out where the best place to film is it might have to be on this table that i brought over from the old house until i can figure something else out but um, I just wanted to say hello to y'all and give you guys a little introduction. Um, again, this is Erica and this is Mama on a Mission. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My mission in life is to be not only debt-free, stress-free, but to live my best what? life um on this channel i will be doing cash stuffings uh ch savings challenges travel vlogs um organizational for homes uh meal planning uh just a plethora of of stuff so if that sounds like any interest that you guys will be interested in go ahead and hit that subscribe button also make sure that you turn on that notification bell so anytime i go yakky yakky yak you won't miss a beat and any comments or suggestions or likes that you give me is so appreciative okay um so today we're going to be stuffing twelve hundred and sixty five dollars um this is after all of my bills have been paid y'all know i don't stuff anything until my bills have been paid so um we're gonna jump right into it and of course just re i put my nail spanks back on y'all i took them off and i put them on but uh, these are from Target. They were uh, on special for $5, um, usually $10. Um, and they're the short version. I don't know what brand it is, but it's a cute little, little thing there. So um, we're going to just jump right on into it. And um, I'll just make a few announcements. Hold on, I'm parched, y'all. Mm. I have some binders, there's some new binders coming, so these will no longer apply. I actually got rid of the clear one and gave it to my daughter because uh, she wanted clear and I didn't have really a use for it anymore. Um, so I will be getting two more binders that are new. I will also be getting a new wallet. As much as I love this wallet and trust me, I really, really, really love the size, um, the button right here um this right here if you can see it it keeps coming off i've tried to glue it i've tried to hot glue it i've tried everything under the sun and when it comes off it gets stuck in here and my fear is that one day it's going to fall off and it won't be stuck in here and i won't be able to find it and it won't close um so that is my i got this from budget with me off of etsy um i did hear some reviews about this wallet so i don't know if it was just a bad shipment she got but unfortunately i have to go with another wallet and when i was searching i was looking at the filofax i was looking at the kate spade i was looking at some other wallets that people had suggested off amazon but i decided to go back to my savvy sense wallet it actually comes with an accordion of five already pre-done slots to put in your cash where you can put a tab in there and it zips up it has change in the back i'm gonna so showcase that it was just sent today so i should be getting it sometime next week if i get it before my next cash stuffing video i'm gonna go ahead and of course do a <laughs> a um reorganization of my wallet so i will let y'all know how that goes um but unfortunately i'm gonna have to say uh, so long to this one and that was sucks because I liked it and it was rather expensive it was $45 compared to the other ones I have seen um so uh, yeah I I don't necessarily recommend this just because of this little problem here if it was embedded in the front like a lot were to keep this uh sealed in I'd probably stick with it and it sucks too because I had these custom made um 
but you know, that's all right. We're going to start fresh, right? So um, let's go ahead and count this money. So, start with the big ones, of course. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. Hi, Ben. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. All right. 50, 100, 50, 200, 50. And this is Grant. Our day is beginning. There's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60. We're at 1210. Everyone say hello to Mr. Jackson. And we've got our tens. 10, 20, 30. Hamilton. No matter what the people say, I'm gonna love you anyway. You are my life. I can't let go. <laughs> Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Twelve sixty-five. And everybody say good morning to Abraham. Don't have any ones today, y'all. The bank act like they didn't want to give me no ones. Oh, I'm so sorry for the shaking. I don't know what's going on with my table. It's like it's off center. Let me try to fix this. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, y'all. Have no clue. Um, but we're going to get started. Okay. Uh, how was everybody's, uh, weekend? Uh, it was Mardi Gras week here in, um, Baton Rouge. Well, Louisiana period, you know, so it was a little, whole lot of festivals going on parades and stuff this past couple weeks, but the, you know, fat Tuesday, which signifies Mardi Gras day was on Tuesday. I worked, um, I think Mardi Gras is really for tourists, to be honest with you. When you live here and you've seen it over and over and over again, there's only so much parades you can do and only so much drinking you can do and things like that. So I didn't really do anything. And the past five years, I want to say, I'm so sorry for the shaking now. The past five years, I want to say, has been extremely violent uh, with the parades extremely violent um i think it was the year before last there was a girl there with her family i think she was in her team she was 12 or 13 she was getting a snack or something the stray bullet hit her and she died there was another girl that got shot uh at the mardi gras parade on tuesday i wasn't sure of her age but i know that she was young um she survived but still it's like why take your family to a festive event just to risk your life, right? So sorry for the shaking, you guys. So, so sorry. I don't know what's going on um, with my camera today. I have no idea. It's supposed to be sturdy. What a piece of crap. Um, so I don't, I don't do Mardi Gras parades, but I've had an, you know, pretty good uh, week with the kids because they had Monday... <laughs> they had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off. Uh, so we uh, went swimming because it was hot enough to go swimming yesterday, like really hot. So I took them to the pool for the first time. They loved it. Um, so that was really fun. Took out my receipts. Just a tidbit, as you guys know, there is a link that I have down below in my description of this video that will uh, give you um, 
2,000 points if you click my fetch rewards link. How this works is you scan your receipts and you get points for those receipts, okay? Depending on what you buy, you can double up your points, triple up your points, get bonus points, things like that. And every time you scan a receipt and you save up your points, you can save them for gift cards. Um, I have so far, I've gotten some gift cards already. Um, so it really does work. It's not a scam for real, for real, for real. Um, the link is called fetch. If you go ahead and click my link, I will get 2,000 points and you will get 2,000 points. So uh, definitely try to do that. I also have a link for Erin Condren as I showcased last week my budget binder, which I will show briefly right now. Um, she is having a sale on her website. I also have a link in my description box down below. So if you go ahead and click that link, which is affiliated with Erin Condren, I will get $10. You will get $10 off your first order. Um, so I've already had a couple people click that link at when they bought something. So I appreciate y'all doing that because I really am going to try to save up my, my rewards to get something really big. <laughs> from Aaron Condren, maybe another life planner, I don't know. <laughs> um, so, yes, let's get started. Um, I've got everything written down as we did on the budget last week, right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is scratch off the bills I've already paid. I'm gonna bring this in camera view. All right, so, so sorry. All right, so, I've already paid, I've already paid AT&T, I've paid Cox, I've paid my car insurance, I still have to pay the union dues, my rent is not due until March 1st, so I was not going to put anything down for my rent um, until March 1st, or at least until next week. So we are going to be stuffing what's in these envelopes, and as always, we start with the wallet. What is this on here? Okay, that was bothering me. We're gonna start with the wallet. So for groceries, I have 250. However, I did spend about 200 last night. So I'm only gonna take 150 because I still have to get um, like laundry soap, toilet paper, um, the dog food, things like that. You know what? I think I might take the whole 250. Um, 100, 200, 300. I'm gonna try to see if I can get this out. Okay, so that's, nope, 100, 200, 250. Did I just try to count uh, Grant as 100? Like he is a big baller like that. He is not, he's a 50, not 100. <laughs> So we've got 250 for groceries. I will not need all of this, so this will definitely be rolled over to next week, and that's fine. Alrighty. So we've got gas. We're going to do 120. Um, I don't want to do 100. 50. 100. Alrighty, so we've got 50, 120. Gas has gone up where we're at. I don't know if it's gone up where y'all are at, but it has. Uh, a couple weeks ago, went down significantly, and all of a sudden, went right back up again. And again, uh, my son is using my car this week a little bit, so he was filling my tank up today, so this will also probably be a rollover. Let's see if I actually roll it over, you guys, instead of like using it for things I don't need. Um, we've got Mad Money. I budgeted myself for $40, I believe. I didn't even put me down. Who does that? Who doesn't put their own self down? So I'm going to do a 20, 30. No, I'm just going to do two 20s. I'm not going to be fancy with mine because it doesn't really matter for me. All right, 20, 40. All right. Um, emergency, I'm not putting anything in there. Fast food, I'm going to be putting in, I budgeted 
20. Let's see if I don't use that, y'all. Miscellaneous, I'm doing 10, because as you guys know, my dad will want his lotto ticket. All right, our wallet is done. If I'm moving a little sluggish today, you guys, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little under the weather today. I don't know why, but I am. And uh, I do apologize, but I am a little under the weather. It's my body telling me I'm not getting enough rest. I actually took today off because uh, Kobe had a rough night last night. Um, sometimes with autistic children, they do the flapping of the hands and they bang their head on objects. Well, he was really upset last night and we couldn't understand why. It was just one of his moods. Okay, there we go. So he was in one of his moods and he banged his head on the end of my bed, which is wood, and he hurt himself. And so we had to stay up all night with him, went to the emergency room, of course. It was no like, as far as cuts or anything, but we were concerned about his screaming because it was, it got worse once he hit his head because of course he was probably hurting. And um, we wanted to make sure his head was okay. So they did a whole bunch of tests on him last night in the emergency room this morning. We also went to his um, pediatrician. They did a whole bunch of tests. So far, nothing's broken, you know, no physical damage as far as they can see. And they just want us to keep an eye on him. I did not uh, send him to school today just because I wanted to make sure that he was good. But of course, we stayed up all night. My husband went to work because he's just one of those guys. No matter what happens, he's going to go to work because he knows he's got to provide for us. But I took the day so that I could make sure that dinner's made on time and the, you know, things that I would have done last night, I couldn't do last night because I had Kobe to deal with. So y'all keep me in your prayers for that. Um, but other than that, Kobe's having a fabulous time at ABA. He cries a little bit when I drop him off, but they said it only lasts about five minutes. All right, so emergency. Um, we're going to be putting in 200 because I used it this week or last week. So I'm putting it back. 100, 200. But I still have my dollar. Do you guys remember I told you I was going to stuff uh, a dollar in any envelope that I could not fill? Now, I forgot to get ones today. Well, not, didn't really get forget, but the bank acted like, oh, that's a lot of ones you need. So I'm going to try to get some later. Uh, car care, we're going to put in 85. Uh, 50. Okay, let's count this. 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. This is for car care. And you guys remember what I said, um, no matter what, the high priority binder always gets filled every week, no matter what. Um, so, Sheree, college, 50. I shouldn't give my husband no money because he went ahead and used the debit card when I specifically told him not to because we're trying to do the zero based cash system and he up here ruining my zero based, right? So I'm, I'm putting money in the bank so that I can count it, make sure the bills are paid that we need it, that he's going to do apple, apple this, apple that, games, 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 gardenscapes and I said, you know what? And he spent what? He spent like $60 just on games. Y'all, in the comments, I'm going to hold off on giving him money. In the comments, should I give him his $40 this week? I'll just put it in there. But y'all let me know. Should I give him the $40 this week? Not because he doesn't deserve it, but because he didn't listen, right? He did not listen. Um, but I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to put it in there. And um, y'all let me know if I should take it back out. <laughs> y'all let me know if I should take it back out. So 
that's 40 for him. All righty. Um, Cherie is getting her 30. I already have mine in my folder. 20, 30. I'm up here forgetting to count. Dad is supposed to get 20. Why? Scratching that off. I don't know why. Scratching that off. Senior year, which is Cherie, is getting 50. I don't have... So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the 50 out. And I'm going to put... Because remember, I don't, have my, I don't have my other envelopes yet. So this will rec this will signify as college uh, tuition fees, things like that for next year, and also senior year. So I will break that up once the other envelope comes. All right, so we're done there, and we have a total of how much left. Okay, so let's see how much do we have left. One, two, three, 50. 60, 70. So we have 370 left. Why? <laughs> Ozzy and Star, they get 250. 20. I mean, y'all know what I mean. 100, 250. This is Ozzy and Star, which is in this envelope. Because they have to go to the vet, their shots, <laughs> and then I'll probably, yeah, vet and shots. So we've got some money left over, y'all. Um, something I, I don't know why we have money left over. Um. We got the groceries, we got Ozzy and Star, we got Gasp. I put 200 in emergency, right? The driver's license fee that for Kelvin. So that will probably be paid by card. Sorry, you guys. That will probably be paid by card. So, you know, we do need to fund the emergency fund, so we're gonna put another 100 in the emergency fund. No biggie. 100, 200, 300, and $1. <laughs> All right. No harm in it. You can always fund the emergency. So we've got five, 10, 15, 20 left. So I'm going to put five dollars in junior's folder five dollars in Aaliyah's folder five dollars in veronica's folder and five dollars in kobe's folder now these envelopes here that have their names on it, these are not like their savings. They have their own individuals. Oh, did I not do his car? I did not. Oh, well, it's already in the envelope. No take backs. So um, their envelopes are just for if they if I take them to like Dollar Tree or if they go to like some place like the zoo and they want to get like a trinket or something. Um, that's kind of like their money to spend. It's not like their savings money that goes separately before I even do any of this. That goes into the Alley uh, savings account that I have. 
Uh, it's a high yield savings account. So if you guys don't know anything about Alley, definitely check it out. It's a pretty cool bank to have. It's accessible, but not accessible enough for you to take out savings all the time. So it's it's pretty decent. Um, Cherie's money, that's what she gets for helping me with the kids. Um, that's her $30 a week. Um, and then anything extra that she does, uh, she gets. So that's that's her money to do with what she wants. And I think we are done, y'all. This was pretty quick and seamless. I'm so sorry for all of the shaking. I'm sorry for the playing presentation. Your girl's gonna get it right next time. I'm just not feeling it today. I'm not feeling it. I'm trying to be a beat for you guys. And I'm just blah. You ever have one of those days where it's like, ugh, and that's me. So I don't even have a song I can sing, y'all, man. Let me think. I'm so tired and I want to hit the pillow today. <laughs> Y'all, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, uh, hit the notification bell. I, I appreciate everybody's continued love, support, prayers, and encouragement. You guys have been phenomenal. Um, there's some ladies I want you to check out uh, when you see my description down below. I'm going to tag some of these ladies. They are phenomenal, and they definitely have inspired me to make sure I stay on the straight and narrow with my budgeting. Y'all have a very, very, very nice uh, rest of your week. I will see you on Sunday for my budget with me for next week, and uh, hope to talk to y'all soon. Bye.